Hello, welcome to our first session of partitioning. My name is Serge Jimbabazi. And I am Havineza Michel. We are both trainers at Turubinja Tivet School. In this module, we will have a series of videos about planning, preparation, and mounting a partition wall. Let's start with preliminary works and preparation of wall frame. We kindly encourage you to concentrate and take notes to help you make sense of the content. Hello, everybody. My name is Habiman Gabriel Devota, and I am carpentry trainer at Rwengira Tibet School. Today, we have a session about how to make partition wall. The objectives of this session is that after you will be able to design a partition wall, the second is that you will be able to select and prepare material for making a partition wall. This is the site where we have to make our partition wall and we need to record some data. In recording data, we need pencil and paper to write down the, the recorded data. We also need measuring tools like folding ruler and tape measure in case we need short distance. Besides this, we can also use long tape measure to measure long distance. After site visit and recording measurement, the next step is selection of material. In the selection of material, we need some tools like folding ruler or type measure to take the measurement. After this, we need we need hydrometer to measure if the timbers are well dried. Our timbers are well dried. The next, we have to make sure that our timber are free from defects such as knots and splits. So this one is not to be used because it is having this knot. So we have to select another one. So this one is better to be used because it is not having knots or any spread. Now let's see together the different parts of partition frame. We have this part which is vertical known as studs. This and this are studs. We have this, which will make horizontal part called head plate, and we have the bottom one, and we have another part in the middle, which which can perform the work of reinforcement known as nogging. And in the case we have door opening, we have another part. This part called trimmer. And of course, it should be fixed between the two studs. After material selection, the next step is material preparation. In material preparation, we need to use four machines like trim saw, surface planer, 
Fikinesa and Sakra so. So in working with those machines, of course we have to use PPE, like air protection, security shoes, and tight clothes. And you have to make sure that in danger zone of the machine, it is well cleaned.
Let's focus on this circular saw as it is mostly used in partitioning. Of course, we will need the PPE, personal protective equipment, and also we will need safety device for machine. The safety device of machine, we will need this trim shoe for holding piece. And also we will need this push stick in case you need you, you reach nearby the bread. And also we need this crown guard to cover the bread so that you cannot touch in the bread. We will also need the bread for cutting, of course, together with living knife. We will also need this paraffin for parallel cut. The Once again, we have learned a lot from this. As usual, you can find this video on the e-learning website of Rwanda Polytechnic for more repetition. We welcome you again for the next session. Until then, stay safe and goodbye. goodbye.